How are ya? All right. So, um, I don't know if it's, <laughs> I don't know if it's too soon, but I really, really, really wanted to do a haul for you guys. Because who else do I have to annoy with my recent pur purchases? No one. No one. Today's haul will be from stuff from the past, um, it goes back three weeks. Actually, all the way till today because I had a little bit of time before work. So, um, most of these items are from my local consignment shop and two of the items are from online. All right, guys. So, here we go. Nail polish. Every girl's, I don't know, obsession, problem. Um... As you may remember from my intro video, I am a musician, and ever since I was little, um, my nails were short and colorless. I just, I just got no time for painting my beautiful nails with colors. Um, but I, I love, I love nail polish, and see, the thing also is I'm lazy. I, I try hard, I plan out to paint them on a certain day, and it, it just, it never seems worth it. Um, but that doesn't stop me from, you know, buying them and hoping one day I'll, I'll use them. So, today, I am going to show you these little guys. Smith & Colt. Have you heard of them? You should buy these. Um, the color payoff is awesome, but I guess I could do a review video at some point. So, two colors I got was, is... Stockholm Syndrome, which is a taupey brown color. I know it looks maybe boring right now, but if it was on my nails, it'd be even cooler. And this one is called Vegas Post Apocalyptic. Oh my gosh. Um, I am not the biggest fan normally of Sparkle, but I just liked the hue of barely pink in the background and these were a 2 for 10 deal on the app Depop, which is probably, yeah, out of all the apps out there for consignment -y thrift shopping online, it is my favorite. And 2 for 10, did I say that? Yeah. And if you know anything about these guys, they are $18 a pop if you find them in stores, and if not, then it's $18 plus shipping. So, um, yay! Okay. My last item from online is from Poshmark. So I also mentioned in my other video that I am a big fan of skincare, especially eco-friendly skincare. So this guy is from the brand Mahalo Skincare, and he is the Rare Indigo Beauty Balm, or just maybe the Rare Indigo Balm. Um, this has been on my wish list for so long, and yeah, so $30 is way better than $100, and um, you only need a little bit of it, so <sighs> this guy's going to last me a very long time. I mean, look at that beautiful color. You see that? Yeah. My skin loves this. Alright, um, that is everything from online. Here we go, consignment store shopping. <sighs> My dream is to one day own a carpet bag, like a ginormous carpet bag, just for all the, all the Disneyland trips, I need a carpet bag. This is not a carpet bag, but it has one of my favorite patterns on it, which is like the tapestry floral, yay. And it is a vintage piece. How many years does that have to be to be vintage? from the early 90s. <laughs> it's from the early 90s. Maybe late 80s. Ready? Ah, look at the back. Oh, it's flawless. This guy is brand new. Um, I'm weird when it comes to things like this. If it has a smell to it, I can't do it. If it has a weird vibe to it, I can't do it. And he is, he's just brand new. It was such, it was such a steal, and, um, I know he's not, you know, 
like a suitcase. But I definitely will be fitting more than, I think this is just meant for maybe makeup or something. Maybe it was a toiletry bag. But I can definitely fit some stuff in here for traveling. So bring on the trips. Alright. A couple more things. Alright. Yay, older purses. They make me happy. Um, I know he may not be to everyone's taste, but I like weird stuff. I don't know what else to tell you guys. Alright, so. Light brown leather. I love the weird handles. The inside is normal. Um, it's not like anything special. It just, you know, has the folds and like the zipper in the middle. But the back of this guy is, he's incredible. Okay, so boring zipper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Ha! Look at this. Okay, slots that are tabbed. When do you ever find tabbed slots? Okay, I'm going to read these off because... This just shows how old this is slash how necessary this is. Okay, checkbook, a slot for your checkbook. I, my checkbook is in a box somewhere, but I will be putting other stuff in there. Credit cards, yes. Um, cash and coin and coupons. Okay, if that wasn't cool enough, this is actually a magnetic closure. So I can just take this guy out pause. See? I can just take him out. But I don't want to. And he just snaps right back in there. Yeah. Yeah. Clothing item. I was wearing this in my first try for this video. It's just too hot right now. I really, I really, really, really wish that it was cooler here. All right. So, I live in Phoenix, Arizona, and while it is a beautiful city, I can't wear sweaters most of the year. So this is like, you know, like my two, three times a year I get to wear a sweater. I'm just kidding. In like, you know, December I can wear this for like the whole month. They were having a sale again on sweaters, Turnstile. Turnstile is the shop where I got most of this from. Um, and it is a hand-knit Ralph Lauren. It has huge sleeves. So this guy, he's like extra long on me. I really appreciate that. And it's red, my favorite color, and has pockets. So perfect. All right. Two more things? Yes. Two more things. Okay. All right. Um, I am a huge fan of art. I just, I just love it so much, um, but especially Art Deco stuff. I, I wish, I wish I lived then. <sighs> Life would just be so much easier for me if I lived in the 1920s. Um, I, I just, I just want to dress like them all the time. But if I can't, then I will just look at art. This is from a shop right behind my house, Half Price Bookstore. I go there all the time because my roommate, who is also a YouTuber, um, she goes there all the time for books. So I'm usually there too, you know, being a good roommate. So normally I just buy movies or CDs there, but I just saw this guy and I couldn't pass him up. It's just chock full of beautifulness. Of course, when I'm reaching to find you something, I cannot find it. But I mean, just, I just love it. So, all right, last favorite. Also from Half Price Bookstore. I love Christmas. My favorite Christmas story is How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Cindy Lou Who is like my spirit animal. My roommate got me a record player last Christmas and I've been slowly just collecting records. This is one of my few brand new ones. I usually buy them used. So one side of this guy is just the whole story narrated by Boris Karloff, and then the other side is all the music from, from the movie. So, so special to me. I can't, I can't wait to listen to it. I, I, I don't know if I can wait till December. So that's my haul. Hope you liked it. Like I said, I'm sorry if I'm awkward. I will, I will get better at this. I promise. I know some of these items I will be doing a review on. Please like and subscribe. 
you want more haul videos. All right, guys. Have a good night. Bye. It's called Vegas Post Apocalyptic. Vegas Post Apocalyptic. Apo All right, and this one is called Vegas Post Apocalyptic. I tried multiple times. I swear I can talk. It's not happening right now. 